What's up guys? It's Nedu here at Stowe Training Systems. Today I'm going to talk about exercises you probably shouldn't be doing. These are called dumbbell standing external rotations. You might see them in the gym. So I'm going to demonstrate for you and then we'll talk about why you probably should not be doing these exercises. So typically you'll see this exercise, grab some dumbbells, open up here, you know, feel like you're working your internal external rotation rotator cuffs. Just like that, right? Shoulder health, you've probably seen this exercise quite a bit. So let me tell, tell you what the problem is with that exercise. So whenever you're working a movement, you wanna make sure that the resistance being applied is, is uh, running opposite of the muscle that you're trying, or uh, opposite of the muscle you're trying to work. And so with this exercise, the problem lies in that the resistance is actually gravity. So gravity, is going straight up and down, right? But this muscle we're trying to work, these rotator cuff, it's more horizontal, right? So we're actually perpendicular to what we're trying to work. And so instead of working this rotator cuff, we're actually working more of this middle delt, upper trap area, and not the joint we're trying to focus on. So what's a better option to work for your rotator cuff? I'm glad you asked, all right? So actually taking a resistance band here, call these no money drill, abs brace, you focus on pulling apart with this band. I'll show you a side angle. These are brand new bands, so the resistance is pretty tight. And try not to flare at your chest. So you notice how the band right here is running opposite my shoulder, parallel, but the force is running opposite. And that's a better way to work your rotator cuff. So next time you see that in the gym, just because it looks cool, don't try it, guys. Uh, ask questions, and this is a better way to work your rotator cuff muscles with the resistance band. Hey, guys, have a great Saturday. Till next time, I'm out.